Ten black and even. Place is 35. dealing her last hand. There's only a few minutes to go, and then it's his yeah. And you get the last throw, partner, so make it a good one. Two sixes make midnight. same when you're gone. Don't forget that postal card you promised me, Lil. I won't forget, Sandy. Look my brother up when he gets to the coast. He's got a kid, too. I sure will, Shorty. You're dealing yourself a new hand, Lil. And I hope the right card turns up for you. It's a new deal for the kid, I'm thinking. Sure. But you won't forget any time you need an ace in the hole, you are the kid. Thanks, Joe. You've been a real friend. You know, I always wanted to sit in on the game with you, Lil. Uh, if his daddy hadn't been my partner, I'd rather it had been you than anybody I knew. Bye, Tony. So long, boy. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye Jim. Take the lead out of your feet. I'll tie that one. Bring that over. Wait a minute. 
Uh, Winship. Go tell her, please, that Joe Connors is here. You can see, madame. She's very, very busy. Oh, yes, I can. No, no, no. Oh, not somebody knows. Just go and tell her that Joe Connors wants to see her. Oh, wait. Did you tell him I was taking a bath? Oui, madame. Well, he's no gentleman. What's his name? Monsieur Joe Connor. Who? Joe Connor. Joe Connor? Yes. Say, show him in. And he, madame? Of course not, stupid. In there. Now hurry up. Come on, I've got to make a sense. Thank you. Joe, Joe, let me hear your voice. Say something. Well, I can't wait to see you, Lil. Well, you'll have to wait and like it. Uh, <laughs> well, <clears throat> I guess I'm going to like it all right. Say, what kind of a layout do you call this? Buckingham Palace? <laughs> Say, this ain't no piker's joint. Why, you don't know what a real bath is until you've tried this one. Well, plumbing sure makes a difference. Well, yeah, you well. said it. <laughs> Put some in my hair. You old son of a gun. <laughs> My, but you look slick as a new paint job. All but that billiard ball of yours. Say, whatever happened to all that alfalfa, huh? Say, Lil, I got the greatest hair tonic in the world. Oh. Three treatments, and look how it's coming out already. It sure is coming out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just the same old Lil, huh? 
Only getting younger, that's all. Ah, go on. Say, come on, sit down. I want to talk to you. Where have you been keeping yourself? Oh, here, there, and everywhere. You know, I just came up from Caliente. If they pass that new bill to legalize gambling in Nevada, it'll bust the old state wide open. Now, there's some smart money going to be up there, and I'm figuring on getting in on the kill. Trouble with gambling, Joe, is you never know where you're at. One day you got chickens, the next feathers. Well, I guess I wouldn't be satisfied unless I could sort of sit in on a game now and then. You ought to do like I've done. Six percent security. Nothing to worry about. And besides, look what it's done for my boy. I want to show you his picture. Look here. Ain't he a great guy? I'll say so. <laughs> He's a good-looking kid, ain't he? He's got your eyes, Lil. Do you think so? You know, he's the best investment I ever made. You're sort of fond of him, aren't you? You bet I am. Say, Celeste! Celeste! Me, madame. Hurry up and get my yellow dress. You know the one I mean. Hurry up, oh, hurry up. Oh, say, Lil, why, you, you don't have to dress up for me. I'm not dressing up for you. It's him. I'm supposed to meet him this morning. He's coming home. You know, I sent him to one of those big eastern colleges. I thought he ought to have uh, a kind of a background, I guess you call it. Yeah, that's right, Lil. <laughs> He's a great kid. You ought to see him in some of those ritzy joints. <laughs> He's got the waiters scrambling all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing too good for little son, eh? You bet there isn't. Well, I guess I'll be running along. Why don't you come down to the train with me? I want you to meet him. Ah, we'll sit on a three-handed game a little later. I want you to have him to yourself for a while. Just as you say, mm -hmm. Joe. Say hello to him for me when you meet him I at the station. I certainly will. Joe. How about tonight? Dinner here, 7 o'clock, the three of us. 7 o'clock, Lil. Okay. Goodbye, Joe. Goodbye, Lil. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> Celeste, we have a... Get my Brief pause for station announcements. 
New York City. The bottom dropped out of the stock exchange today. Pan-European preferred was one of the securities most heavily hit. When the exchange closed at one o'clock, it was estimated that close to a billion dollars was lost by investors throughout the country. Financial leaders declined to comment on the probable result of the crash. It is said that the manipulation of certain pools were blamed for the crash today. Thanks, J.W., for putting me next to that pool of yours. Don't I always want my friends in on a good thing? Too bad all your friends didn't listen to you. Take Coburn, for instance. Say, it must have hit him pretty hard. Oh, Dad! Well, how much this time? Take off your kilts, darling, and bring your textbook up here. And as usual, you're even. Yes, you're in 75. I'm a miserable partner. I'm afraid it was my dumb play that said us, Maureen. It is. Who was it that said dumb? There's more honor in defeat than anything. Honor is my dear. If you'd have had those honors, you wouldn't have gone to that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thank you. sweetheart. You remember you borrowed it from me this morning. <laughs> With what's in my purse in a hundred, will just about make it right. Thanks, sir. Seems that you and I are in the same boat, Jeff. Bridge was never my game. Hey, this Wall Street crash is pretty bad. I hope you didn't take it on the chin, Mr. Winfield. I've always been conservative, Jeff. People are foolish to mix up with the market at times like this. Now, the whole trouble with this present depression oh, is... Oh, come on, youngster. He's a darling, but he can be a boy. Well, certainly, the wheelie really invented the same expression. <laughs> he seems like a nice sort of chap. Who is he? Seems to be of good family. Mining people, I understand. Maureen met him at a prom last winter. His father is dead, but his mother made a good job of him, and he's mighty fond of her. I'd be proud of a son like that. It's not that serious, so soon. Oh, I don't know. He has another year at New Haven. But I like the boy. He's got something on the ball. Hello. Good girl. Oh. That's three to one. Told you I'd beat your love game. What do you know about love? The Iceman told me, Mama. Takes a better man than you to beat me when I'm in form. There ain't no better man than me. Besides, there's nothing wrong with your form. It's your service. Grant you I'm not so hot on a tennis court. But wait till I warm up. Can't wait.
சொல்ல pack up pack up everything i'm leaving for reno in the morning all right madam silent. coming your way from now on. I well, didn't think I'd have to get it this way. Don't misunderstand me, Joe. You know what's eating me? What? This joint's getting on my nerves. It ain't like the old days. We didn't used to have a lot of tin horn tourists, divorcees looking for excitement. Oh, but it's on the level. What more do you want? I'm thinking about Jeff. It would be different if he was through college. I want the boy to have a break. Well, he's getting it. What else is worrying you? Well, well, the boy's having a good time. Why don't you let him stay away as long as he wants to? 
Go ahead, shoot him the money. Oh, you don't get me. He doesn't know where the money's coming from. You gonna tell him? I don't know. You got a pen? Hey, man, with a number three. Throw it over to me. Too bad. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm not through yet. Well, let's get her on the line. Put her on the line. Okay, let's go here. All right, let's go right back. I win on the eighth, too. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm sorry. Too bad. A number three. Pay me. Now watch your daddy. Yet wait, just watch him for a minute. Just a hat. kind of call, honey. Jeff, you darling. When did you get in? Oh, you better come right up here. I want to see you. <laughs> Open in the name of the law. Many. Mom, darling. Mm. Oh, Mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> put me down. You better put me down. Oh, you rascal. <laughs> oh. oh, what a football tackle that was. <laughs> Oh, gee, let me look at you. You're looking great. I just reflect your beauty, darling. Right? <laughs> Room service. I want you to have breakfast with me. Come on, we can't do that. The Winfields are downstairs. We're all going to have breakfast together. So the Winfields are here? Sure, when you wired that you were here, well, Mr. Winfield suggested that we motor over and get better acquainted. Well, of all the places to come. This should be the best free ring circus outside of Madison Square Garden. By the way, what are you doing here, young lady? Remember, anything you say will be used against you. Will it? Come clean, you're holding out on me. Remember, no secrets between mother and son. You know, Jeff, I haven't seen a three-ring circus since you were a little bit of a kid. 
And we used to go together. <laughs> I've been pretty much of a heel to stay away all this time. But I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> it's all right. Now that you're here, it doesn't make any difference. Will you see Maureen? What a girl! So you're in love? I don't know. Everything's in her favor. She's regular. We smoke the same brand of cigarettes. She plays a worse game of tennis than I do. And what a figure. Is it love? If it lasts through Reno, it must be love. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, you know the town. We'll make you official guide to the party. Right. Where do we go first? First, we'll eat. Then we'll go for a long ride. And tonight, we'll see the hell to rail. I hear it's the hottest place in town. It must be when they start bumping themselves off. Well, you don't want to see that sort of thing, do you? Don't be old-fashioned. What's the matter with you? I want to see the joint. Come on, get dressed. The Winfields are waiting. Well, all right. You run along and I'll be right with you. Come on, then. Make it snappy. All set for the next turn? Hey, I've been watching you for a week, youngster. What's your system? Just beginner's love. <laughs> Oh, a couple of hundred. <laughs> Better stick to Wall Street. You're much luckier. Wall Street isn't luck, my dear. It's business. Business? Is that what you call it? <laughs> well, I suppose uh, it would smell as sweet by any other name. <laughs> oh, uh, bad investments, Mrs. Payton? The market is a dangerous thing to play with when one doesn't know the ropes. I guess you're right. They don't even give you the gambling chance you get in a place like this. Well, just the same, I wish that Jeff would give me the same break that he's been giving this place for me. Can't even drag him away from this spell game long enough to even see him anymore. I told him he'd take a bath, but he wouldn't listen to me. Why don't you speak to him, Mrs. Payton? I have. But boys don't want to listen to their mothers. I'll speak to him. He'll probably listen to me. You think he did? All right. I'll be here when you come back. Hold on. <laughs> Staying right with it, youngster? Way ahead. Mm -hmm. Don't you think you better quit, Jeff? You can't turn. go on winning, you know. Just watch me. Not me. I got something else to do besides that. <laughs> oh, come on, Jeff. You've got it now. Besides, your mother doesn't like you to play. Oh, mother's old-fashioned. You go on and sit with your father, honey. I'll be with you in just a minute. That's a great boy you got out there, Lil. The way he goes for the cards shows me that he's a chip off the old block. That's out, Joe, from now on. I'm worried. Maybe it is in his blood, but I don't want it to get him like it did that poor boy that shot himself out there. So that's what's been on your mind. Come on, Lil, snap out of it. Joe, he's got to lose. That'll cure him. You go out there and take him. I don't care how you do it. It's a large size order for a couple of square shooters. I wouldn't be in this racket again if it wasn't for that boy. You've got to do it. Remember, Connor, this is on the QP. Sure. <laughs> I saw you pull that one off the bottom. Oh, hi, you're crazy. No, 
Don't give me that. You're crooked, Connor. That talk don't go here. If you don't like the game, never get out. Never mind, Bill. Never mind. I don't want any sore heads around here, so you'd better beat it. All right, I'm going. I'm going to take my mother with me. She knew how crooked you are. Why don't you tell her? Why don't you tell her that you're a punk loser and a quitter? You tell her about that paper, I'll... I'll leave that to you. I shouldn't have tried to get away with that. You've got to be in practice. And that's never been my game. It did more to cure him than if he'd lost on the level. I'll tell him sometime, Joe. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Jim. How have you been? Just fine. Say, and you're looking fine today. You bet I am. Yes, all right. Well, Scott, see you later. I'm right in the big game here. Okay. Right. <laughs> Get out, mother. Thanks. Oh, all right. That's me. For the love of Mike. <laughs> Scotty, you old desert rat. Lil. <laughs> Just like old times again, ain't it, Bill? That. <laughs> you here and, uh... Yeah, it's him. <laughs> yeah, I want you to meet an old friend of your father's and mine. Mr. Scott. Scotty, we call him. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't hardly know you after 20 years, son. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the last time I saw you... <laughs> You were in diapers. <laughs> Takes after his father more than you, Lil. <laughs> Great man, your father. Where a shooting feller I ever. Scotty, I want you to meet the Jeff's friend. Mr. Winfield, Mr. Scott. How do you do? Miss Winfield. Very happy to know you, Scotty. Glad to know you. Thank you. Say, folks, listen, why not let me buy a little drink? Oh, huh? sure, Scotty. <laughs> oh, thank you, but uh, we were just leaving. Well, what's your hurry? Why, yes, what's your hurry, Dad? Well, haven't we seen enough of this place? I'm sure Jeff has. Well, um, of course, uh, you run along, son, and enjoy yourself. Uh, Joe Connors wants to see you, Scotty. I'm sure. Come along. Well, old boy, I'm sure glad to see you again. Thank you. Quite a character. Yes, quite. Shall we go? I think so. Hello, kids. Good morning, Mr. Winfield. Blame your daughter for breaking in on you this early in the morning. It was her idea. What's the program, Father? Haven't you arranged anything? Taking orders from you, sir. Well, then, might I suggest the uh, three of us take a little ride over to Tahoe? The three of us? Hey, if you'd like to, Jeff. Sounds swell to me. Ready in about an hour? I'll be waiting. Wasn't that just a little bit crude, Father? You went very subtle about it the other night, but don't you think this is overdoing it? Jeff understands. He'd be awfully dumb if he didn't. Why didn't you invite her? What have you got against her? It's not my fault you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. Oh, that's the nastiest thing that you've ever said. It's true, isn't it? Jeff knows it as well as I do. No wonder he's ashamed of her. Oh, Father, that's the first time I've really been ashamed of you. You're taking this too seriously, my dear. I am serious. About? About Jeff. 
If I weren't fond of the boy, do you suppose I would have ever invited him here with us? But you can't expect me to accept his mother. Well, I do. I like her. Why can't you? Oh, if I must tell you, Maureen, I have found out who she was and where she came from. You needn't tell me who she is or where she came from. She's his mother. And unless you invite her to go with us, I'm not going. Very well, if you insist on embarrassing all of us. Have a good time? Not bad. I've been teaching Maureen some of the finer points of the game. More than you picked up last night? Did Connor say anything to you? Well, he told me he cleaned you. Why don't you ball me out? Well, you've always been your own boss, son. I only hope you've learned that it's a racket you can't beat. Not the way your friend Connors plays it. Come here, Jeff. Do you owe anything? A little. How much? Oh, 500 would pull me out of the hole. Is that all? Isn't that enough? Gee, you're a brick, honey. About that date we made for this afternoon, I promised Maureen I'd take her over to Tahoe this morning. Of course, I could bow out of it. Well, that's all right, Jeff. You see, it was a gambling bet. And if she won, I promised her I'd take her any place she wanted to go. Always pay your gambling bets, son. Come in. Good morning. Hello, dear. Jeff was just telling me that Well, you... you're going with us, aren't you? Oh, three the crowd. Oh, of course. That's why we want to make it a fortune. Besides, Dad will be just as disappointed as I'll be if you can't come with us. Jeff was just asking me to go when you came in. But I can't get away. Honest? Some other time. Oh, I'm sorry. But I still think that you can go with us. Jeff, I'll run and get the car. And you see if you can make her come along. Jeff, why did you lie to me? You didn't want me to go. Is that it? You know better than that, honey. Then it was Winfield. Why doesn't he like me? You haven't given him any reason to, you know. Then why doesn't he come out in the open and say so instead of making a liar out of you? Come clean, Jeff. Why doesn't he like me? You can hardly blame him after you walked out on the party he gave us at the Hell Raider the other night. After all, he was our host and you could have had better taste than to leave us flat for that desert rat friend of yours. Jeff, he was a friend of your father's too. Oh, I understand that, but... Winfield doesn't, is that it? Things change after 20 years. It hasn't taken you that long. You've only changed since you've known Winfield. Jeff, don't let him make a snob out of you. I'm sorry you feel that way. I'll see you tonight, Mother. Goodbye. And I ask you just one thing. But is this quite necessary? If I made a liar out of your daughter like you've made of Jeff, wouldn't it mean anything to you? Wouldn't you be fairer if you said that he merely wanted to be kind to you? Oh, yeah. I got that one. You mean he didn't want to hurt me. He didn't want me to know that 
You didn't want me. I didn't suppose you would feel that way about it. I'm sorry. Quit bluffing, Winfield. I'm calling your hand. Lay your cards on the table. That sounds natural. Coming from Pharaoh Lil. I had a hunch that was your ace in the hole. Well, what of it? My racket's always been on the level. That's more than I can say for yours. I'm not ashamed of that. But would your son be as proud of it if he knew? Oh, don't worry that I'm going to tell him. I think too much of him to want to hurt him that way. Hurt him? Wasn't that your idea in being so careful never to let him know? Why did you, if you weren't afraid he would be ashamed of you? That's a lie. You know it's true. If you only dared admit it to yourself. If I thought that, I'd hate him. You could have him then. I wouldn't want him for my son. Good morning. Ready? You'll have to go without me this time. I, Sorry as the devil, old man, but, but I have to wait here for a while. Oh, we'll go some other time then. No, no. You two go ahead. Is there anything wrong, Father? Why, of course not. Now, now run along, both of you. Let youngster so we can get back here in time for tonight. I'll keep her out of mischief, Mr. Winfield. Goodbye. <laughs> Has Mr. Jeff Payton come back from Lake Tahoe? You don't know where he went? Yes. Yes, I'd like to leave a message. Tell him I'm waiting at the Hell Dorado. Who is this speaking? Tell him Pharaoh Lil. Are you sober? Sober as a judge. Oh, Jeff, I knew there was something wrong with Father when he didn't come with us this morning. Well, we can't do any good here. Let's go find him. Are you sure it's what you want to do, Lil? I'm going through with it, Joe. I've got to know. Well, your friend Winfield's out there waiting for it. The stock market took him today, cleaned him. I guess he's trying to do a comeback. Right in my lap, huh? All right, everybody down. Well, look, you play a corner of the game. Say, hey, I'm playing my money. Deal. Well, look, you play a quarter of the game or you don't play at all. That's all to it.
Get down. I'm dealing this. Get out. What's that? That's orders coming especially from my partner. All bets off, folks. Come on, make a snap. <laughs> Well, at least you got a chance to take a hand in this game, Winfield. The stock market is a dangerous thing to play if you don't know the ropes. Sounds natural, doesn't it? <laughs> well, this is Pharaoh. And you're sitting in on the game with Pharaoh Lil. You've been doing a lot of investigating, Winfield, since you came to this town as to who this woman really is. And now you know. And I'll tell you the rest of it. Her husband was a gambler, too. And as square as a die. All the old timers know her. And it's high time the new folks got properly acquainted. Remember back in Virginia City when you cleaned the Frisco kid? Well, you're in just as good form now as you were then. So play the game. Place your bet. I'm out. So am I. I'm not playing. So am I. Looks like it's up to you, Winfield. <laughs> what is that, a piker's bet? <laughs> Deal. Well, place your bet. Now you're talking Wall Street. <laughs> oh, you can't bluff me. Draw. This isn't big business, Winfield. It's luck. How do you like it? <laughs> I never slipped a card off at the bottom of the deck. Meaning what? I saw you slip that card off. A liar. Joe, you're a squawker. I'm on the level and you know it. Prove it. Give me a chance and I'll cut you the high card for the whole pile. What'll you use for money? My check, of course. Oh, that's rubber. You're broke, Winfield, and I know it. But I'm going to give you a chance to save your shirt. For your daughter's sake. Not yours. Don't be a fool, Lil. Now, Joe, this is my show. Make out an IOU for 10000 What do you say? Joe, give me a new desk. Please, shuffle and cut them. Thank you. You take first cut. Now that you know what I am, where everything you've ever had came from, the chance to meet your ritzy friends, the very clothes you've got on your back, that's where I got it, every nickel of it. What do you, 
think of your mother now. My father. Was he a cheat too? You. You believe what Winfield said? Jeff! Jeff! Easy, Lil. You're up, darling. After all, we haven't a mortgage on the old homestead, you know. So why should we worry? Please, Dad, don't take it so tough. I'd like to be alone, dear. You don't mind? Of course not. But you're not going to let Winfield get away with that lie. Why, the kid would have come through like a regular if... if it hadn't been for that. But he believed it, Joe. Don't you see? Nothing now can change that. You don't really mean that, Lil. I asked for it, and I got it. But you didn't get an even break. But you're going to, even if I have to ram somebody's face straight down through their car. Suppose I could see your father, miss? What about? What about? Winfield's going to tell you that he lied when he called your mother a cheat. I might believe that if I didn't know that your whole joint is crooked from the bottom up. And Mr. Winfield isn't the only squawker who couldn't lose without beeping. Ah, wait a minute. Sure, I know I framed you, but you had your mother worried. She wanted to cure you of making a chump of yourself and a racket that you couldn't go on beating forever. Oh, I see. And this time she had a chance to make a real killing. Oh! Oh, Dad! Hello. Hello. Will you send the doctor right away, please? Winfield just shot himself. I wouldn't go. Not now. But I must go to her, Joe. She'll need me. Marine, I... Haven't you done enough without coming here? I guess you came here to tell her that her father lied, and he's in there dying and can't deny it. Why, Jeff, I... You didn't think about her when you started out to break her father, to smash him just because you hate him? At least you could have had decency enough not to come here and throw it in Maureen's face. Ah, oh, cut that out. You're going to hear the truth, but you're going to hear it later. I know the truth. My mother is... Carol Leo. And you ought to be proud of it. Proud of a woman that has a man's blood on her hand? A card shark? No, don't say it. Joe. Jeff. I 
can't face her, Maureen. I haven't the right to look her in the face again. You've got to, though. Go to her, boy, and tell her what I told you. I just saw the doctor. He said that Winfield would have to do a better job next time. There's no danger. You'll pull through all right. Lil. I've changed my mind about a lot of things, Joe. I only went back in the racket for one reason. Look at the rat that handed me. It's a sucker's game, Joe. On both sides of the table. And I'm through. Pick up your tickets. 